2016, the GLP inherited a situation where the, the, the opposition party have a tendency to implement what they call a crime plan. Now, a crime plan in the eyes of the, the opposition is always to put together a police squad that um, specific criminal network according to the mandate of those uh, groups. Now, what you find happening, and it is now revealing, now in 2018 we are realizing why we had this spike in 2017 and 2016. And if you were following the... Um, if you're following the trial of a uh, couple of police officers who were charged in a, in a death squad, you would see where it's coming from. Right. Um, police were used, you know, as, 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 a, as a tactics to go in. And this is something going back from, from way back. This is the only time in Jim I can remember since a government took office that we don't have a police squad. You know, whether it's the acid and the, 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 the crime management unit and all these things. We've had these consistently. And these are what the, the PNP consider to be a crime plan. No, none of these crime plans has ever worked. Um, this is the only time that we are seeing a system where a measure is put in place to pretty much stop the bleeding. And right behind stopping the bleeding, you have something that is overall in the mindset of people. If you look at Jamaica, Junior, uh -huh. Jamaica is going through a process of change. And, and while, we, while we put a clamp on criminality, 21% overall reduction in murder. 300 less persons killed in Montego Bay. The police is in the process. As a matter of fact, the government is in the process now of building out a police barracks, a military barracks in Montego Bay, because that was a hot spot a year ago. And when you find a problem in a particular area, you have to deal with it, and you deal with it decisively. The opposition has always pussyfoot around fighting criminals. Every single time that the Jamaica Labour Party comes in office and takes a stand to fight against criminals, you always find the PNP showing up and saying, look, Let's give the criminal a free pass. Is it that is that so? Is that so? Is that so, Kamala? Right what is the relationship then? What is the relationship with criminal criminal activity and and the PNP, Kamala? Is that is that is that? No, no, no. Let me tell you, and that is what I wanted to tell but you. I allow you. In 1979, when they recruited 1,600 Jamaicans, send them to Cuba. That is where it started, Junior. Right. That is oh. where it started. Okay, let me hear. He can own up to it and accept that they are the implementers of criminal elements in Jamaica. We never get better. Junior. Okay, all right. Let me, let's hear. Kamala, go ahead. Okay. You have the figures in front of you. I want you to tell me now what was the crime rate in 2008? The, the two, two, 2008? Yes. Okay, in 2008, the crime rate was at 1,601. And what was 2009? 2009 was 1,680. What was 2010? 1,428. And what, at, in 2010, there's an asterisk beside it. Yes. What? Yes. There's an asterisk at 2010. And what does that signify, the asterisk? That signifies a state of emergency. Okay. 2011, what was the crime rate in 2011, Junior? 1,125. And what was the crime rate in 2012? 2011, the government changed. What was the, the, the crime rate in 2012? 90, uh, 10, 10, 1097. And what was the crime rate in 2013? 1200. And what was the crime rate in 2014? 1005. What was the crime rate in 2015? 1192. And what was the crime rate now in 2016? 1350. 1350. And of course, we already established that in 2017, it was 1,000, wait, 1,616. Yeah. So I want you to look at the period because I'm going to, I'm going to show you that what Chopper John is saying is absolute nonsense, right? Okay. <laughs> look at the period of PNP's government between 2000 
and 11 and 2015, right? right? And that's where you will see the lower crime rate, right? Let me tell you why. First and foremost, the, to re get that reduction, the lowest reduction, the PN under the PNP government, there was an all-time low of 1,005 murders in 2014, right? Right. Without one state of emergency. There were days in 2014 that not one Jamaican was killed simply because we implemented a program called Unite for Change, where the government at the time actually put in social measures. We actually put in a social system. When the government changed, let me tell you why there's a spike. Because the, when the JLP went back in power, they basically mash up Unite for Change. We had a program called Violence Interrupters. They reduced that significantly. They stopped using violence interrupters. They stopped using they stop using the programs to basically effect social change because they think that they can tackle crime on one end and on the other end, they, they're basically, they think of crime in isolation. They don't realize that there's a connection between crime and poverty. There's a connection between crime and social injustice. They don't make that connection yet. There is Julia, Kamla, listen. I'm listen. not done. Wait. In Kingston Central, right, there's a 70% reduction. It is a one-sided discussion. Oh, hold on. No, let she finish. Emergency. There is no state of emergency in Kingston Central simply because they use violent interrupters. They use, there is a peace manage, management initiative in, Cent, in Kingston Central. There is no state of emergency, right? They use saturation policing and they use social intervention to get a reduction in crime, a 70% reduction in crime, right? They're not locking up poor people, Picnic Junior, right? They don't have children as young as 13 and 15 years old sleeping on the ground on cardboard that is filled with urine, like what they are doing in the state of emergency, right? That is what is happening here in the state of emergency. That is the atrocities that is happening. They have charged less than 5% of people under the state of emergency. So what, in, in truth and, if, and effect, they are locking up 95% innocent people during the state of emergency. Junior, yeah. and they are trying if to it's a monologue, back. tell me so I can log off and listen. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, justify locking up innocent people by talking about a reduction in the crime rate from where they put it. Because right. 2017, when the crime rate was 1,616, Junior. Yeah. that was as a result of their lack of putting a crime plan in place. I come on, let, 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 let me chop an uh, opportunity. They have the audacity to be asking the opposition now, just like all them got to the opposition um, in the Ministry of Education to ask for help with the PEP. They are now, they have the audacity to be asking the opposition for a crime plan. Like Nobody is asking, asking the opposition for a crime plan. plan. Okay. Chapa. That, yes, sir. keep on saying that you are coming with a crime plan. We are not asking you for the crime plan. All we want you to do to, uh, is to implement the crime plan because locking up poor people pick me. Come left fast. Listen to me carefully. Locking up poor people pick me <laughs> is not a crime plan. You know. All right. All right, Listen Kamala, let, let's give, let's give him. Listen. I am afraid that police will target my child as a mother and lock him up because he's between 18 and 25. I refuse to allow that child to commute. Junior, but right. But if this is a monologue, and I should sit here and listen to yeah. Kamala, I know, because I'm going to log off. All right, Kamala. I, I, the other can have to worry about police locking up my picnic. Right. Junior, yeah. this is my last point. This week, there was a mother all over the place looking for her 22 year old son she couldn't find him right and let me tell you how seriously ridiculous the state of emergency is this 22 year old young man was held in the state of emergency in saint catherine his mother is from saint anne and there is no communication this boy missing for three days and she, she go look for a picnic at the mug she go look for the picnic at the hospital she go look for a picnic at other police stations and nobody could tell her that her son was being held in a state of emergency in a lockup where is that child now 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 that child is being detained. He's now out of detention. But okay, let me ask you a question. All right. In 2017, 2018, 2017, last year, right? When three, 405 people were killed in Montego Bay. Can you bring those people back? Can you release them from detention? Absolutely then you should, not. Then, then you're, so you're, no, no, no. Hey, hey. Listen, if I can't. Because it's because of your lack of crime plan. That, that is why 
we are where that is why the figures are that high because you removed a crime plan that was working you removed all social intervention right and then you're telling me about 2017 you need to take responsibility for 2017 junior yeah listen if if it's a if it's a situation where i need to sit here and listen to kamala let me know i can listen no nah, no nah, listen everybody get opportunity to speak Chapa. No, 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 so, no. so so you get opportunity to speak I, I don't Boy, want to appear as being disrespectful. I love females. Whether they're my PNP or no P, I don't care. I have respect for the female, and I will not disrespect her. But if this is a dialogue and a conversation, it cannot be that Kamala is going to sit there and pretend as if she's on her blog page doing a video. That's not it. And you're no, screwing, that's you're listen screwing to a bunch of I, garbage. I listen back and I heard I, all the points. Okay, so listen, I listen, hold on, hey, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay, Chapa, you have opportunity now. Okay, okay, Chapa. Go ahead. 1990, and I will reiterate. I will reiterate. 1989, a matter of fact, when you took office, we had 543 Jamaicans murdered. And you ruled Jamaica for 18 plus years. We never see a toes murder in a Jamaica like that. And that is what you left us with. Right? A broken economy, a torn up country. And now you come to talk about crime? Yeah. 300 <laughs> less persons are killed in Montego Bay. Right, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, let, me let, me let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Let me let me share this. Let me share this. Let me share this a different way. Let me share this a different way. Here's a question that I want to ask in relation to human rights, right? Okay. Being that the the, the state of emergency is locking up and uh, arresting citizens and locking them up for an extended period of time because the law does permit in state of emergency you don't have to have a charge they could hold you and lock you up for any extended period of time we have people uh, in there now for six months right she talk about 16 year olds being held do you know who are committing crime in jamaica do you know who are the perpetrators of murders in Montego Bay? How many six years yeah. old they have been locked up now? How do you know what age group have been killing people? Because you, you know hold on to the wrong ones. Because you hold on to the wrong ones. The criminals are still walking yeah. up and down to your state of emergency. Let me yeah. tell you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. The, 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 the fact about it is... The people that are being held right now because of the state of emergency... How much percentage of the people that are held are actually criminals themselves. Three percent. You okay. don't know that. Okay. How oh, much? Well, I guess you are from the PNP, so you would know. Three you are from the PNP. Okay, so what's the number? The Chapa, hold on. Hold on. Let, let, let's uh, let's put some... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chapa, as far as yeah. your information, how much percent of the people that are arrested in the state of emergency are actual criminals? That is investigated. That is done through investigation. All right. Let me tell you something. Criminals are not determined based on who you hold. You understand me? They do everything. The backwards. most important thing, they Junior. They do everything. Backwards. Junior, uh, listen to me carefully. Yeah. The persons who are held under a state of emergency can and have been released. The persons who have been killed in Montego Bay can never return to their parents. Can never be released from anywhere. Junior. They're dead. Yeah. yeah. And that is the reality you must face. I visited one of the detention centers in the detention center in Montego Bay. I was not allowed to go in there, but I spoke to a few of those women, right? Let me tell you, the mothers now, I'm talking about the mothers of the children that were detained. Because you should yes, keep a little visit to cover them. What I'm speaking to kill. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Whose kids were killed? In Why you don't visit those? No. Why you don't visit those? Those mothers, us? greatest concern was the fact that they were holding their children some of them who them scrape up when them was playing schoolboy football there is one specific incident with a high school in montego bay called spot valley high that had just finished a manning cup match and the police just scrape up somebody picking them right now apart from that their concern was that their children were being held in the same detention area they were being confined with hardened criminals right so on one hand they're thinking that oh they're scraping up the criminals but then they are not thinking about the psychology of these these impressionable children who they are now putting in the same space as hardened the criminals for days 
from one to Junior? Ah. Listen to me carefully. Who Kamala is referring to our okay. children? They are not thinking about people who Kamala, they are locking up who are persons who you are referring to are, look, are losing their jobs. Look here. Okay. Kamala, uh, go ahead, respond, Chopper. Respectfully. respectfully. I'm going to make my point and I'm going to allow you to continue and speak as long as you want. Thank you. The persons who we are referring to as kids and children, Junior, some of these folks are perpetrators of criminality, right. gun violence, and murder. Okay? They are some of the very same persons who ride up on a bike and shoot somebody at the entrance of the airport. They are the persons who ride on a bike and shoot people at the gas station. Last year, this time, Junior, guns were ringing in Montego Bay. Guns were ringing out in Montego Bay. Triple murder, double murder, four people killed every single day. Right. And this year, people in Montego Bay were able to walk around, start walking in the mornings, going to church again, having community meetings, gathering together and having fun that never happened last year and i don't care what statistics kamala want to come with the reality is whatever action whatever was implemented junior had saved 300 plus lives 300 jamaicans could have been killed if we never had a state of emergency in Montego Bay. right simply put but here's the other question. We don't need to water it down and convolute it with all kinds of nonsense. Let's talk about lives. The persons who have been detained can be released and have been released. The ones who have been killed cannot be released and can't come back from the dead, Kamala. Right. I, I, my time to Parliament. My time went to Parliament, Junior. The government is saying, look, we don't want a state of emergency in the, for, for the rest of our lives. We're asking for more time. More time so we can build out what is needed to fix the criminal problems in Montego Bay. Well, let me, the government let... is asking for time to build out additional police barracks to hold more police in the area. Right. To hold a, 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 to hold a coast guard somewhere in, in Westmoreland, I think it is. Right? You, you see, sometimes these people come and they talk, you know, and they don't want... You, I'm going to show you how this honest Kamala and the PNP continue to be. Very, very dishonest. Right? Yeah. When you look at the, the period in which... And she gave you those information you know, ahead of time because she's, and she, she deliberately removed from that the era under the 18 years of PNP destruction. She deliberately removed that. And I'm not going to give you any information prior because I'm not going to skew this discussion. This discussion, me don't have no notes. Me don't need the notes. I am telling you what we see on the ground. The time you took to visit those persons who were held in lockup, how did you take time out to visit the parents of the folks who were killed? The mothers who've been calling several radio stations in Jamaica, crying and begging and the whole is not to remove the security forces from But the Antigua security Bay. forces don't have to be right? removed. And yeah. that is another fallacy that you people keep saying. You spreading. and your opposition leader is telling Jamaica that we can you keep the security forces in Montego Bay under what condition? You do not need huh? yes. Under yes. Peter Bunting, you had seven. Listen to me. Police. Yeah. Junior, yeah. give me an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kamala, you have Ka Kamala. Your Kamala, hold on. Kamala, let's have Chapa, let's Chapa finish his point. Chapa, go ahead. Yes, she had her time, and this is my time. You sit back and listen. Peter Bunting, tenure, 700 curfew and cordons, and crime never reduced under his watch. And that tells you, what? that tells you that curfew doesn't work because the Constitution doesn't give curfew the power that a state of emergency has. Okay, so I guess okay. what and five was and not that is what the country time. needs. Oh. The PNP support too much slackness. Yeah, let oh. me ask, let me ask a question. Let me ask a general question. Let me hold on for the benefit. For the, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second for the benefit of the the viewers, guys. We're talking about the state of emergency that's enacted currently in Jamaica. Trying to figure out um, if it if it working, if it work, 
and if it should continue now the recent recently i mean let me give you guys the numbers uh 33 jlp votes to keep the state of emergency uh that was made by 21 pnp vote which is the opposition party seven of the pnp walked away before the vote and two abstain from the voting right and so what's really gonna what's gonna happen is that the the the, the state of emergency will end right now two-part question two-part two question chopper i was watching a, some pnp conference yesterday i believe and i heard the opposition leaders st stating that all the, the 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 um the police force would would be able to stay wherever they are yeah. all of that stuff would be able to stay but the only thing that gonna they want to pull take out of it is the fact that of 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 arresting um nationals beyond a lengthy period of time before giving them due due due, due course in court right mm -hmm. so is that understood or is that just a talking point by the opposition talking point by the opposition listen to me Junior. <laughs> here's the reality we must face in 2017 we had 335 murders uh -huh. we are down to 95 now junior right let me ask you a question let me ask you a question junior the chart of rights you have the right to freedom and you have the right to life which one supersedes the, the other which one is more important junior kamala i would say life okay so if the right to life is more important than the life to freedom why we complain about locking up cutting off detaining people and ensuring that we save life listen months. to the statistics again you know? people listen to the months. statistics again 335 but, in, in wait, wait, last year 335 and we are down to 95 this year and we are continuing to trend down junior which would you prefer has kamala gone to these persons the parents of the of the 200 plus that were killed last year and find out how they are grieving junior right what right. about the few folks who have been detained and held is most of which Thousand, a few most of have, thousand, have been but, released. You know, um, okay. Now, 335 down to 95. Who is telling you to stop saturation, stop it, saturation policing? Because you see, Junior, I'm glad you mentioned the point that the, that the, the, that the, 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 these these government officials and these government spokespersons are basically trying this scaremongering tactic. Because you do not need a state of emergency to implement to implement saturation policing. You don't need a state of emergency. Saturation the only thing, wait, I allow you to speak. Go it's ahead. My turn. The only thing that is different is that you do not get the right to detain innocent people without charging them in jail for 90 days, for 100 days, for 120 days, without charge, without bringing them in front of the court right it is inhumane to be detaining people in conditions where and i'm going to about, ask you again you're going to tell me about the right to life versus the charter of Kamla, rights let me ask listen, you a question listen, can you i have ask you a question all right okay I spoke to one woman that was subject just for smoking a cigarette in her car in her own vehicle where she take her own money and buy and she buy it, she have her cigarette smoking and the policeman lean over in her car and tell her to out her cigarette. Can I ask you a question, you Kamala? Know? I did not interrupt you. You spoke for five minutes uninterrupted. It's my turn now. <laughs> All right, so sit back and relax. Go ahead. One woman was detained, right? For basically 72 hours for smoking a cigarette in her own car, right? For smoking a cigarette in her own car. They violated this woman's human right. This woman is, I know her personally, she's 4 foot 11, 90, 98 pounds, right? What, was that woman a criminal? Was she charged with anything? No. But what they are doing is they are facilitating inhumane and basically disgusting treatment by the armed forces. I have people who write to me and complain how they are abused and treated at these checkpoints. But we don't even want to go there. Let me talk about how they are treating ordinary Jamaicans in in lock up the detention centers and then you're gonna tell me about oh this is more important the, the right of life is more important who is telling you to stop first of all it's the police the, the, i'm glad you bring up those figures you know because you keep on comparing 
You keep on comparing this year to 2017. And 2017 was the same government in power. In 2015, when the PNP was in power, you didn't have all this crime. In 2014, you certainly never have all of this crime. And then you're going to tell me, say, the, the PNP crime plan never worked. The PNP brought crime down to 1,005. The PNP brought crime down to 1,005. And you're comfortable with that. You're boasting about it. It's not your time. It's my time. Yeah, well, no, but if, he, if he, he's going to respond, he's good no, if he responds. No. When I'm finished, Come you can listen, respond to my You body. can argue that way when you're on your blog. It's yeah. This yeah. Is, you, you said, let me call what you said. You said, with all due respect, Kamla, I'm going to speak, and when I am done speaking, you speak. No, you are done speaking. It's my turn to speak. <laughs> right? That's what you said. I'm quoting you. Word okay, word. okay, go right? on ahead. No. Knock yourself out. No. In 2014, when Peter Bunting, the same one in the likes of us, was the Minister of National Security. He yeah. did not call one state of emergency. He did what we call, you see what you're talking about, curfew and all those yeah. things? We have a scientific name for it. It named saturation policing. Yeah. That's so it's named. And it never just work on crime. It Pretty really name. work on programs. Pretty name in don't fix the problem in Jamaica. You're still interrupting me, boss man. <laughs> you're still interrupting me. It work on programs to basically implement social change. Right? We had the Unite for Change program, which was very successful. He worked alongside with the Peace Management Initiative in the world for them something there, where I don't see... When you fix crime and fix social problems, you again. Listen, you keep talking over me. You know, I hear Aris Jang, the and Jackson Miller, that same something the last night. Why do you men like to talk over women? I gave you don't play the woman card. It's not equal. Equal work for yeah. equal play. Yeah, but don't draw the woman card. Don't draw the woman card. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm make the car. Go ahead. No, as far as I'm saying, in two, when Peter Bunting was in, was the Minister of National Security, he implemented, while he was implementing controls for crime, he implemented social intervention plans. And that was the difference. This year, government no business with social intervention. Oh! And that is why we are in this mess. Right? Really? That's why we are in this mess. Okay, you know, Kamala, you want to pose that question? Let he respond. J.F.J. Carl Roger. What is it? Roger, last name again. I still remember him last name. But what he said, he said a very important, he made some very important points on All Angles last night, which is a program that come on the TV. He said, basically, Shameful the block. violence interrupters made a big difference and there was a significant reduction in the amount in the number of violent interrupters which were people who were once involved in criminality who now go into communities and speak to people there's a significant reduction of in the number of violence interrupters that this administration is using in central Kingston, where the program is still on up and running. All right, so you're five minutes and five seconds. Reduction, Junior, yeah. in crime without a state of emergency. This government is using a state of emergency like it is the only crime plan. And then they're basically using scare mongering tactics. But I will tell you this, Junior, they might be all over the place making all this noise. Junior? But the people on the ground. The people yeah. on the yeah. ground who it is affecting yeah. are not... If I may. But, but, but Kamala, let me, let me pose another question real quick and then I'm going to come to you, Chopper. The people on the ground you mentioned, like the business people and the citizens of, of Jamaica. Business, yeah, June, but, about yeah, but the small business... <laughs> but the small business... Kamala, hold on one second. But the small business... I read, I read an article that said that the small business administration of some sort, they endorse, they want them to Precisely. react the the, the state of emergency so 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 the, the 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 business association they like the fact that people are shopping and people are coming out of their houses although there are more police presence but people feel more free because there's more police there's more security people feel more free to shop so why would the business what community support the that and the, the barber and the hairdresser are making more money really yes no. and there's no shooting no. at the barber no. shop they can no. walk no. and do whatever time no. so so come oh, hold for for, for for the sake of the for the sake of the audience guys you're watching right along we're facilitating a debate here a lot of you guys might might not know exactly some of the uh, what, what exactly we're speaking about it has to do with the state of emergency currently enacted in jamaica and the the opposition just voted to to, to basically eliminate the state of emergency so right. that's the next the next time it's up for renewal which is going to be what in march it would have no, it would be in the end of January. The end of January. 
if we go through Christmas in some in 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 some areas it will end at the beginning of January and in other areas it will end the end of January. So that would have taken the states of emergency to one year. Junior, right? Listen to me. Uh, I want you to listen to me for a second, okay? Okay. Montego Bay had several gangs, several heavy gangs who were related to the lottery scam and all kinds of stuff, right? Right. These guys were raving havoc on the entire St. James and neighboring parishes too. The SOE, the state of emergency, gave the police the powers to go in and to grab these guys and to eliminate them. Get them out, send some of them to prison. Some are extradited to the United States for charges. Some end up getting killed because they took on the police forces, okay? Right. So that's what the state of emergency did. The state of emergency gave the police the powers to hold on to suspects and to build a solid case around them. Because what you have in a junior, what has contributed to the severe crime problem and murder problem in Jamaica is because the PNP normally come with a crime plan which involves curfew, lasts only for three days, 72 hours. And when you go to the for 72 hours and you're unable to build a solid case around them, right. what happened, junior, is that that same individual, you have to release him. And you know what he does? He goes back into that same community and kill everybody who he believes might have either snitched on him or might be a witness to his crime and that is how we have a high murder rate right the soe junior ah. just raw numbers and that is what i am debating raw numbers that's what we call putting the cart before the heart well let me ask you another question let me put, let me ask you another question as it relates to the raw numbers raw numbers junior if you go to the house, you spoke a while ago. You yeah. spoke about yeah. checkpoints yeah. and how people are treated at checkpoints. I, Junior, went to Jamaica and I drove to seven checkpoints in Montana. So you mean to tell me you're not here? Huh? You're not here. You're not here. What did I just say? You're not in Jamaica. Are you in Jamaica? Of course. Okay. So well, I'm telling you, so, so, I went to St. James. You're not there in Jamaica. It doesn't matter where you are. What do you say to me? So you tell me about... Come on, Sapa John, man. Come on, man. Pamela, Come Pamela, on, you give me a chance like, of talking. I gave you, you an see, opportunity see, to see, speak see, and to speak and to speak. I love you to finish. This is what I can't understand. Most of the people who are making noise about this thing don't even have to experience it. You don't drive through those checkpoints every day, Chopper John. You don't tell me what I don't do. You don't have no gun staring at your picnic. Of course, I went to those checkpoints. You hear that, Junior? Yeah, yeah. Junior, I work for the U.S. military. Yeah, all right. Let me tell you something. Let me ask you this. Look at it. Let me finish. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Come 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 on. Come on. So Come all you're going to tell me about my experience Come at the state of Come on, listen to me Come carefully. On, Come on, Come on. Come on. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's have a decent Let's have a decent Let's have a decent Yeah. Let's have a decent Let's have a decent Yeah, yeah. That's what I want. I want, I want, I want. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's remove the politics. Yeah. Let me talk to you as a mother. No. Let, and let me talk let me to you as a brother. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold. Let me talk to you as the, as the mother of a young girl. And I'm mother. So I can talk to you from all angles because I am living it. I work in Montego Bay, Chapa John. Come let me that. Listen to I me for a second. I work in Montego Bay. So Slow I have to go through those states of emergency. And I have gone through the very same checkpoints that you have gone through. You and say you don't live here. Put this politics you say aside. You say you don't live here, so you're not experiencing it. I never had that discussion about me not living here. I never said no, that. But, but, but this is what I'm talking about. No, you, 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 you're not understanding. You see, let me tell you something. For a more fulsome discussion, if mm. I would have appreciated it if you were actually living it like I am. Because me, me, I have to live it Kamala, every single day. Listen to me because for a moment. I have to drive through those checkpoints. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just say this. Let me just say this, right? Let me just ask this question here uh, for everyone that's watching again. Um, Chopper. Yes. Do you think that the state of emergency is creating somewhat of a balloon effect? Because I've also checked out that mm -hmm. the crime r r rate did go down in Montego Bay, which is a okay. fact. That's a hot spot. A lot of mm -hmm. police activity, a lot of checkpoints. Mm -hmm. But it possibly ballooned in other places of Jamaica who, which crime was normally very low. 
okay. so the criminals is it that we've seen that the criminals are avoiding the areas of the of the state of emergency and committing crime in other places where it's normally very low crime are we seeing that statistically are we seeing the numbers increase in other places we, we've seen some increase in some areas but listen to me junior no, yes. quite. Now, I if I, I you know, if I... so what you should have noted, Junior, is that when Montego Bay got additional security forces on the grounds in there, right? right? When the state of emergency was declared in Montego Bay, oh, nice. the police and the security forces mm. had an opportunity to nab some of these guys who they knew was going to try to escape to neighboring parishes like Shillani and St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland. Right. So it's not a case that you don't know. We know. But let us. Let us do the numbers again. You keep going back Look to the numbers what? when, when, Look when, at when other places Junior, the uh. increase. The increase in other areas. Right? The increase in other areas still give, give us an overall 20% in overall yes, world of Jamaica. Just give it till next year. That, that, next is, year. Is, that is what you're hoping for. Yes. That is no, what we are hoping no, for. We're you the facts. I am not. We saw the criminal, they must have down yet. But and that is something. what you are giving when them you when you remove. A, a criminal, you know, yeah. so when you remove the state them. of emergency, you are doing exactly what, what Kamala is saying. Spraying the place with bullets, right? right? That is what the PNP. Most of these people you know? are coming from Montego Bay now. You know? Most of these criminals, most of the criminals going in now, and them going into other crap because first they were doing a lot of scam. The lot of scam team. Created by your party. Yes. Yes. Them, your them, them gone into other crimes, right? Who's they're gone into extortion. They're extorting business people, Tell small business people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Chapa, Chapa, hold on. They're gone into other communities. Yeah, let them have gone into, into, into places in Mandeville. Into other communities. They've gone into into places in Mandeville. In, in, in Manchester, in broad daylight, killing people left, right, and center. In communities where you never normally have that happening, all of a sudden they are happening. Give them till next year when them settling good and proper. Junior, yeah. so yeah. that, that statement from Tamela, listen to me carefully. Animals. So all, them who are know, who all they are waiting for is the opportunity to learn their surroundings, to adapt to their surroundings, and then they will do the same thing. It's the same set of animals. Junior. Junior. Yeah. Junior. Go, 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 go ahead, Chapa. Go ahead. Come on. These Montego Bay Kamala. criminals, as far as saying, come on. You can't fill a bus. You can't fill a bus to program in a man. This is not for all of us. them all over the place. They have to fill a bus to run for parliament, man. Let us have a little discussion. Go ahead, Chapa. Slow down. Put the politics aside. But it's not Junior. politics. I you see that you see that same statement that Kamala just made a while ago about give them until next year. You don't know this about me yet. I'm not really deep on the politics thing. Too. No, no man, that is your hallmark. While, even while the PNP was voting for the state of emergency, I was the one who personally told them said them none of balls enough because the state of emergency is doing more harm than good enough. When really, Kamala? Every three months, voting for it, voting for it, voting for it. I am the one who said it don't make no sense because from from it go. The first three months and the second three months, me said that don't make no sense. But what we should have done, you know, what the GNT, Kamala. Right, so Kamala. don't tell me about no politics, you know. Let's put the politics as... I don't join the politics. Junior, the yeah. Junior, you, you might have to right? bring, you might have to bring Kamala back one day when she's calm, because we can have a discussion like that. Yeah. But here, Kamala, but, but, but here, here's what, I mean, listen, listen. even if, if it, even if it's 1,600 or 1,000 or 1,200, it's nothing to boast about because that, that, that number is still high. Exactly. Then, Junior, if that number, the is, number still is high, high. listen to my but question, Junior. Kamala. 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 But you can't be, you can't be victimizing people. You can't be breaking Kamala. the law to bring down crime. How oh, that makes sense? When you Junior. extend the state of emergency without justification, you're breaking the law. Junior. You're breaking okay. the law. All right. Uh, you can't break the law to Junior. Break Okay, Let cha me ask a question. Chapa, Chapa, go ahead. Ask your question, Chapa. If the if the numbers, and we agree, right? We're down to ninety-five murders in Montego Bay. Let's just use that because that was the highest number we had. Chapa, bring the so phone. The phone kind of cut in a piece of your face. Right. For that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So in Montego Bay, Junior, we had three hundred thirty-five. We're down to ninety-five now, right? Right. And we still believe that 95 people, 95 individuals being killed in Montego Bay is still high. Do you agree with me? Yes. Do you agree, Junior? Yes. Okay. 
So if 95 persons being killed in Montego Bay is still high, right? Why would you remove whatever strategy it is that got you that reduction, Junior George? Why would you remove it if you really believe? Or you believe that 95, so we can live with 95, so let's just remove the state of emergency. Right. Junior, the start of rights, and I will tell you again, you have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You also have the right to freedom. But Junior, exactly. If exactly. you're a dead man. Exactly. You have the right to freedom. Yes, but if you're a dead man, you freedom right. have no freedom. use to you. Right. So you There's no use for freedom you're if you're dead. Because somebody else killed another person. 402 Jamaicans now. The, 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 the Charter of Rights that deals with the right to freedom have no use to them. They're dead. They right. cannot be released. And then you they lost cannot enjoy innocent. the prosperity uh, that uh, you make like this now. have nothing to do uh, with those murders. All right, all right. And the people who actually kill them and deny them that right are still all over the place. You don't know. know. Some of who were killed That's were criminals did. themselves. Okay. That's what you did. You didn't uh, uh, lock up any criminals. <laughs> You don't know so that. Every hundred people, you, you lock up three of them who are criminals. You don't right, know listen, that. Listen, 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 guys, listen, guys, listen, guys. Listen, guys. I'm convinced. Listen. I'm convinced. Let me hear from Victor. Yeah. Every thousand people that you lock up, half of them were criminals. Yeah. Right. One half. All right, let me let me let me say this. I, I think I think that that's as far as we could take it here, right? I I think that that we we could agree to disagree that you guys would never um have the same idea as to where the direction of the state of emergency would go but here is my overall perspective of it right if the state of emergency is saving lives right if if a hundred less people are being killed whatever the government or whatever legislation need to be put in place to save people life that is the obligation and right of the government and the security forces thank you so if but at the same time at the same time, I do not believe that human rights of people should be trampled, should on. Be trampled on. People still Won't have their rights. Yeah. So, the government need to ensure that the security forces are not taking advantage of the opportunities that they have right. at their disposal. Not doing so, that. So, 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 the government have to ensure the prime minister, the head of security, the police commissioner, whoever you have it there, need to ensure that the police is not using that as an opportunity to... to, to 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 hit back on people that they don't like or they don't they they, they, they community people that they're not really affiliated with on whatever different uh, levels that is right by the way. Junior, so they have to make sure hold on Junior. they have to ensure hold on they have Junior. to ensure that the security forces are not taking advantage of their powers because that and is that human is rights Junior. violation Junior, it's the first time in the history of state of emergency listen to me carefully Junior George in 1976 when the People's National Party implement a state of emergency they lock up half of the opposition it was used politically right right and i'm telling you this because it's important to the context of the argument they use it as a political tool this is the first time i was not alive then Jun so i junior, can't understand it junior uh -huh. you, your origin is I important to where you are happened, today right listen this state of emergency was carefully carefully planned there was systems put in place oversight committees to ensure that police and the security forces but did, not not, did not overreach and overstep them both. But Junior, they, you know me. But we beat the police all the time. I own. believe that the police force was not the best. Me, right. Me cussed them all the time. You've heard me, right? No, right. but they did. And if yeah. there's one time that I can publicly tell you that but I am totally 100% impressed. With the you work need of the police find the public defender's yes. report. Yeah, yeah, the but, police, but, the public defender is a arm of the people's I knew national you would, I knew party. You would say that. I knew you would right, say that. Right, right. Because everybody, because yeah. there's no way. Dictatorial government Junior. is associated with Junior. the people. Okay, all right. Because one question, Gina, one quick thing. Yeah. yeah. If the public the defender, Junior, administration, if the public defender, same when with a report. The truth, they tell and you with that being. same report. The truth alone will set you free. Junior, the lady go and do her Junior, investigation. I want you to listen to me. Yeah. It's an arm if of the, the government if the, and she's made by if the, the government the, and she go and do her investigation. If she went, yes, and, and people finding, went after her and don't and never find anything. Yeah, yeah. Junior, if the public defender, if the public defender 
went, did an investigation, put a report together. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, Carol. Let him finish, let him finish. Because as, as I said, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Every Democrat is being fed on less than one dollar. Junior, yeah, every democratic society, the media fed stale bread. Junior, yeah, Carol, hold on one second. Carol, let him make his point real quick. Let him make his point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, Kamala. One second, one second. One, one second, one second. One second, one second. In every independent country, every sovereign country, the media is always the group that is seen as the independent voice. Do you agree with me, sir? It should be. Okay, in most cases it is. No, the public defender went down, did an investigation, published her findings. The media went in right behind her. Rubbish her claim. The media never rubbish Slow her down. claim. Let me okay. finish. Let me finish. Chapa, okay. listen. Let me finish. Uh, hold on, hold on. That is a, that, 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 that is, although this is a good argument to make Why at this point. Uh, although this is a good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The police hold on. did not the substantiate your argument. Chinese yes, Chapa, Chapa, Kamala, Chapa, Kamala. Hold on. Okay, listen, guys. There is not one detainee that disagreed with the public defender. Not okay, all right. You see, you see, we're going on another. We're going on another. Guys, hold on, Chapa, hold on, hold on. We going on, we going on, we going on another a crab hole here, and we go end up in like in another world, right? We talking about we start you now. We start talking about the public defender, and that's a whole new different controversy all there in one, right? No, no it's not. It's yeah. the same thing. Junior, oh. the public defender published a report based on her findings in Montego Bay. The, the, the justice of the peace in the area, right? Went in, did their own investigation. Nothing like what the public defender says. It was, it was exaggerated by at best. Okay? Nobody, look here, when the detain people, Junior, they're not staying at the Hilton. Are the Marriott? <laughs> no, it's not saying that you are being infested. So, Junior, let me you ask you a question. Cardboard, and they are being fed on less than one dollar per day. Let when? me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Junior, answer me this question, please. Do you believe that when somebody is detained in a state of emergency by security forces, and you go and you ask them, do you believe that they're going to say, oh man, this is nice here? It's very good. My breakfast was uh, hot and salty yeah. and all that. But, but I saw a video, right, Chapa? I saw a video. I saw a video. And it has to do with human rights violations again, right? I saw a video, right? Yes. And, <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. That video show inside of a prison in Jamaica. Yes. And that Thank is the you. most gruesome, gross, Thank nasty, stinking, dirty, wildest you. thing I've Thank ever you. seen, Chapa. Me? No. All right. You want you want my answer? Yeah. You want my answer? Yeah. Want my answer? yeah. But, but hold on. Do you want my answer? Yeah. Ask that question. Do you want my answer? Do you want my answer? All right. All right. Kamala. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Kamala. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Kamala. Go ahead, Chapa. She asked a question. Yeah. And I want to answer. She said, "Would I sleep in there?" Well, listen to me and listen to me carefully. If sleeping in a detention center in Jamaica is going to save 300 plus lives of my fellow Jamaicans, I will sleep in there right now. You're not for sleeping one year. That. You can't tell me that. I will save detention now for five years. If it's and going and to and save and the and life of my fellow citizens. Be sure no say you don't want your picnic in there, say either. Listen I to me carefully. I, 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 guys, we 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 over that time. We over that time. We we over that time. Yeah, hold on. I want to make this fight before you. 